Hi, I'm going to talk to you today about safety with biologic medications. Biologic medications are those medications that um, you are receiving for an inflammatory arthritis condition like rheumatoid arthritis, psoriatic arthritis, or ankylosing spondylitis. And these medications are given either by an IV, which is an infusion in where the needle's put into your vein and the medication is run through, or by an injection, whereby you give yourself an injection um, in your thigh or your belly um, at different periods of time. So before you start one of these biologic medications, there are important tests that are run. One is a TB test um, or quantiferon test, which is sort of the gold standard now, where we're making sure that you have not been exposed to TB. Secondly, you will have a series of um, hepatitis, uh, a hepatitis panel run, which will check the whole series of different types of hepatitis to make sure that you have not um, contracted uh, hepatitis uh, anyway. The third thing that we usually make sure is that you do not have a history of a fungal infection or exposure to, um, uh, to a high fungal infection area. Uh, we see that in the Ohio River Valley and the Mississippi, um, along the Mississippi. So we look at those things first because we would not want to start a biologic medication in somebody with an infection. Because one of the big side effects, or one of the side effects that we're most uh, keenly um, on the watch for is infection when you're on one of these medications. Another thing that we would do before you would start one of these medications is try to get you a zoster or a shingles vaccine. Uh, it's important uh, because that is a live vaccine and once you're on one of these medications we do not give you any type of a live vaccine uh, at that point. Um, another thing that uh, we want you to be aware of once you start these medications is that should you come down with some type of an infection um, we would ask you not to take this medication while you are on an antibiotic. It's not that there is a reaction to antibiotics, but what happens is we've altered the immune system with the biologic medication, and we sort of want the immune system to get back to what it was while, we're, while you're taking the antibiotic so that your body has the best chance to fight off whatever that infection is. Um, so you can hold the, the, um, the biologic medication while you're on the antibiotic and as soon as you finish the antibiotic, you can start right back up on the, um, on the biologic medication. Uh, some places where there might be an exception to that rule is if for some reason you were incredibly sick and ended up in the hospital on IV antibiotics, we would just ask that you please call and clear that with us as to how soon we would want you to restart a biologic medication. Uh, another area that we um, would consider uh, a safety uh, risk is if you were having an elective surgery. Biologic medications can interfere with healing and so we would ask you to hold that medication for a period of time prior to the elective surgery. Um, the rule of thumb is one uh, interim of medication plus a week. So let me explain what that means. Uh, for example, if you are on a medication that you inject every two weeks, you would want to stop the medication at least three weeks before the elective surgery. Um, and believe me, all of these questions can be answered by your provider um, or, the, or your nurse, you just need to remember that there is um, there's something out there that I need to do. So give us a call and we can review all of these things with you. Um, lastly, I want to review the importance for um, people on these medications to 
get themselves um, hooked up with a dermatologist. You really would like to need to get a skin check about once a year. Uh, we do see an increased risk of non-melanoma skin cancer. That's your squamous cell and basal cell cancers. And so um, we ask people th that we ask people to please get hooked up with a dermatologist and make sure that you get a skin check and uh, be on the lookout for any of these types of cancers. Again, call your provider uh, if you have any questions about this, but these are just a few tips to get you thinking about some of the safety aspects of being on these medications.